Hello everybody, it is Paul reporting live from my sofa. Before we get started, if you like what I'm cooking and you want to know when it's being served, hit the subscribe button, click that dinner bell. When you hear it ring, pull your chair up to the table and let's dish. What's going on? Hey everybody! I am fascinated by grown-up food fights. Like when people get honestly pissed off and like grab a piece of pizza and slap somebody with it. I think there's nothing better than that. I mean, I just love stuff like that. Bonjour. With shake and bacons. Hi, my name's Paul. I'm a Sagittarian. I like long walks on the beach and my favorite color is blue. My favorite ASMR is gentle whisper. I love getting all snuggly and watching things about murderous rampages. I'm glad you're here. We're glad you're here. We're excited. Uh -huh. Thank you for being friend. What in heaven are you watching? Wouldn't that be cool if we could have our own theme songs when we came in the room? And so like when uh, when Charlene logged in, it would go, Charlene, 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 Charlene. I'm begging of you, please. Don't take my French. I do bad 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 It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Making beans, what kind of beans? I hope they're good. I hope they're healthy. I hope they're green beans. You know what I mean? They don't make them very lean. Making your way in the world today. Takes everything you got. A real microphone. A hey, diddle diddle, said the cat and the fiddle. I'll be waiting right here for you. I'll be making some vegetable stew. Polly wants a cracker. She's allergic to whole wheat. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Lottie Dottie, we like to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. Make the phone call thing. Hey, Ginger Locks, how are you? I am fine. Of your too. So is Whirly Woot. She is too. I swear, she's been a poet. Now we've expanded into beatboxing. This is great. I, I hope know, you're recording you this, know. Denise. <laughs> recording live from the beatbox. Recording live from the club. That's what I should do. <laughs> it's true. Ooh, ooh. I love you. Girl, you know it's true. Chilling, relaxing out. So by the pool, when a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. Could I borrow these for tonight? I promise I will wear them tight. I won't let them out of my sight. They're on my face. They won't get far. I would not be able to drive a car. <laughs> I love it. I just made a new song up, y'all. Ooh, ooh. There's another time. Yeah, yeah. And there's another time. Yeah, yeah. Help. I need somebody help. Mm. A shoe A doobie. A doobie. Travis had a ham sandwich. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? That's part of being Southern. Well, that was horrible to my ears, but oh well. Because, like, I get bored and I'll start doing things. Um, and I'll just sing silly things or whatever. And that was my go-to song. Like, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, the right stuff. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh. Denise says, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh. Denise has got the right stuff. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, Allie's got the right stuff. She's got the right stuff. Oh, 
if left to my own devices, I'm pretty turned up like this most of the time. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty much me, like, unfiltered. Don't mind me. Stop the earth and let me off. I was being a safe driver, so that means that I wasn't 100% paying attention. That would be like, you know, pop in or lit or whatever the kids say these days. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Bless my heart. Absolutely not. Oh my God, no way, Jose. Please hold. Please continue to hold. Don't wake the bear. Just don't do it. I am where I, I'm flout. I'm flouncing. I'm flout. My little report. Nobody puts baby in a corner. <sighs> Clutch my pearls. I don't know what to do. Clutch my pearls. His name is Village. What? Huh? Seek adventure. Seek adventure and it will come to you. <laughs> Nacho Supreme Smackdown. Yeah. Not 100% on that one. I have to do some office work for a second, y'all. Look, please hold, Tammy. I'll be with you in a second. I love those shoes. Where'd you get them? Thank you, bye. Your call is important to us. I mean, I was just like, right, what What am I watching? What am I watching? It's just, you know, let's, let's be honest, y'all. Let's, let's be honest. I don't know what you're doing. But that's some tricky stuff for the Sofa Squad over here. Or at least for this member. Not all who wonder are lost. <laughs> That's me, 100%. And I'm like, I go, 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 go. Okay, please hold. Please hold. Good God, please hold. Oh, my God, ladies. Oh, word. Merc. So, anyways, if that made sense, hallelujah. Blue light special on stickers. Two for one. Blue light special on stickers. My life has changed drastically since I bought this cup. Now I can walk my dog, go swimming, play tennis, do all sorts of things. <laughs> Don't come back until you've got blood on your hands. Thank you very much. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Cannot believe that. I mean, that's just, oh, uh, that. I can't see you. You can't see me. Go on, girl. Go on. It's all good. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, no, me. I can't remember my name. Now calm down there now. Oh, heavens to Betsy. This one's one of my favorite ones. Into the wild. No, 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 no. We don't take that away. Um, Matt's chin is adorable. Living free says, "What are you doing? You're food aggressive. We can't rehome you." Did y'all hear that? <laughs> he says, "If I'm food aggressive, I can't be rehomed." <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, if we're giving out awards, nothing beats the woman at Walmart on the, the handicap uh, thing with drinking wine out of a Pringles can. <laughs> I mean, for God's sakes, I think we've all been there before. <laughs> I mean, I always feel like I'm just a paycheck away from that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, y'all. I mean, it's, it is not beneath me, y'all. That is not, that is, I'm not too good for that right there. I'm not too good for that. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, my God. A deputy say Jones's living girlfriend called police and said Jones woke her up abruptly by slapping her in the face with a cheeseburger. Can you? Uh, if somebody woke me up by slapping me in the face with a cheeseburger, first of all, I'd probably eat it. Secondly, I probably would laugh about it. I mean, it depends. Again, like, what are we talking about? A three-month-old, you know, McDonald's cheeseburger? Uh, I mean, come on here. So I got to read that again. Jebedee say Jones's living girlfriend called police and said Jones woke her up abruptly by slapping her in the. <laughs> I can just see it happening. I can just see it happening. I can see it happening. <laughs> that was an official bitch slap then. Yeah. Okay, hold on. She told police Jones and pulled her hair and kicked her down the stairs. Okay, this got serious. That escalated. Um, when deputies arrived, the victim was visibly upset, obviously. Yeah, they, <laughs> they know this is funny. Yeah, they know this is funny. Okay, listen. When deputies arrived, the vic <laughs> 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 next one. Next one. <laughs> Yo, 
y'all, it gets better. Y'all, it gets better. <laughs> I can't read it. I can't read it. I can't eat it. I can't read it. Okay, please hold. When deputies arrived, the victim was visibly upset. Hold on. The victim was visibly upset and covered with particles of the food. <laughs> <laughs> she probably had some cheese stuck to the side of her face. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ma'am, thank you for shopping with us. Now, I have heard your problem. You're looking to do a little something with your skin tone, a little oh. something with your cheek structure. Uh, we have looked over... Uh, the entire clinic product line, actually, um, every line in the store, I'm sorry to say. Hey there, Tammy, I love those shoes. I'll be right with you. Um, actually, at this point, what we're going to have to do is just go ahead and uh, suggest reconstructive surgery. Uh, I don't want you to be embarrassed over that. Uh, this is normal. It's, it's fine. We would prank call our place of employment on the days that we weren't there. We worked at a fine dining restaurant. Y'all, the things. First of all, you know they knew it was us. I mean, back then we thought, oh, they don't know it's us. And I'm like, looking back now, I'm like, how stupid are you? Of course they did. But we didn't just prank phone call them. She had a karaoke machine and we would sit there for hours and call people up and sing songs to them. And literally, but we would walk them into it and I'll never forget one night. <laughs> the best ones were the people that would let us sing the song to them. And, oh my God, we would, sit there, <laughs> we would sit there. So like in our restaurant, like they're very serious and posh and all like, you know, you know, all this type of stuff. So we would call up there and we'd be like, ah, uh, can I speak to the maitre d'? And we'd know they weren't going to put the maitre d' on the phone. We knew, we knew who like, we, we knew who was answering the phone or whatever. And we'd be like, look, me and my husband, we came up, I'm pretending I'm Tony. She'd be like, look, me and my husband came in there a couple of weeks ago and the meal was superb. The customer service was amazing. And, you know, it was so special because it was our first anniversary. It was really cute. You know, I got these cute little salmon libbies to wear. And, you know, with a little gold neck uh, anklet to go around my, uh, my um, ankle. And, you know, just real special. And I got that chocolate souffle at the end. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. It touched my heart. And I just want to go ahead and say this. You might think I'm crazy. But I wrote a little song about that chocolate souffle, and I just want to know if you, can I sing it to you? Y'all, he would let us sing it to him every damn time. <laughs> she would sing the song about the stupid chocolate souffle. I'll let the karaoke machine. Oh my God, y'all. It was so much fun. <laughs> Okay, so here is the please hold story. Now, I, when I get my please hold stuff in, I was going to do a story time video on that to do shameless self-promotion, because why not? Um, but, so I used to work at a bank in Centura, and I worked in the leasing division, so it was more like an office. Pardon me. And, excuse me. It was more like an office instead of a bank, but it was a bank, the loan division. So I was like a little front desk person, you know what I'm saying? So I would just be like, you know, thank you for calling Centaur Leasing. How may I help you? What's your favorite color? And that's what I did. And so this woman worked across the hall from me, and her name was Heidi. And if Heidi is watching, I absolutely love you, and this is all good. But this was like, I mean, 20 years ago, so I can't believe I can say that. Um so it's it's a while ago so whatever this is no hard feelings or whatever i mean i love this so heidi i mean she was she's a country girl sweet 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 but she was a country girl and uh which was fine so you know this is like this is a, a major office building so i had like normal phone lights and everything um so she was really big on answering the phone like, that was my thing to do, but, like, she was right across the hall, so she was the backup person to answer the phone. So she would answer it, and so the deal was, like, I mean, a normal thing would be, like, you know, thank you for calling us into our leasing. This is Paul. How may I help you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ran out of cares five hours ago. How else can I help you? No, but, you know, we'd be like, okay, uh, just a second. I'll get them for you. Um, 
And at that point, I would never say, please hold on everything. Yeah, I got to put you on hold for just a second. Thank you. I love those shoes. Ah. So when she would answer the phone, she would be like, and I can actually use this. Can I use this instead? Yeah, because this is like a real phone. So she'd be like, thank you for calling Centaur Leasing. This is Heidi. How may I help you? And you could hear her. So I would never see her, but I'd hear her. And her cousin would say, uh-huh. Okay. Well, how are you? I sure can, sir. I'll look that right up for you. Uh, please hold. Now, she would not put the phone call on hold. She would proceed to be like this. And this is her computer. Okay. Okay. Please hold. Just one more minute. Please continue to hold. And so finally, one day I was just like, I was like, hi. I was like, why don't you put them on hold? I was like, why don't you use the hold button? Um, I was like, why you, like, why don't you use the hold button so you can do whatever you're doing or whatever? And she's like, I just think it's so rude to put them on hold. And I was just like, but you are you just keep saying, please hold over and over again to them. And she would just sit there and she would have the person on the phone the whole damn time asking them to please hold. And I was like, she has to be pissing them off. Yeah, but she was so sweet. Like, she's one of those people that, you know what I mean? Like, probably they felt bad you know what i'm saying like it's, i don't know i don't know but ever since then again this is like 20 years ago ever since then i always just like please hold please continue to hold your call is important to us please hold now she wouldn't say your call is important to us but i mean she would literally talk like that and just like please hold and she would get panicky and that's the other thing that's why i was like well just put them on hold like, but for real hold, not like I'm holding you on my ear like this. And it just gave her so much anxiety, but it gave her anxiety. Again, we're going back to anxiety, but it also gave her anxiety to not to keep them there. It was very bizarre. Very bizarre. Um, so anyway, so that's where Place Hold came from, and it just called on. Um, hey, Debbie, what's up? Yeah, literally, I mean, everyone I know says please hold now, because, I mean, that just, it, that, I mean, it's just, it's a thing. It has to be in everybody's house. Please hold. This has been real. It's been fun. But it ain't been real fun. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Alligator. After a while. Crocodile. That's La Vista, baby. So, y'all, um, P.S. P.S. I'm just going to go over this real quick, y'all, just as a reminder. Paris got a gun. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's some genius stuff right there, y'all. You can make a YouTube channel off that. There you go. Thank you. Done.